welcome back. It's another edition and another season of none other than your favorite college and professional sports show. It's called the what? The Bud Bud Prediction Show. The Bud and Bud Prediction Show. Featuring your host, none other than... Bud. Bud. And? Bud. Hence the Bud and Bud Show. So... Last year, last season, last football season, we entered into our adventure of nothing other than the Bud and Bud Prediction Show. Uh, say hi to Amber, hi to Thomas, who's joined us just now. Ironically, Thomas is the one kind of help was one of the ones that helped us get this started. Not sure. online, but we used to do a pick 'em kind of thing every Sunday at church. I know, kind of a bad thing to be doing at church, but that's what we did. Um, one, winter of the season one lunch and Weston was very young at the time so um, obviously he didn't buy anybody's lunch still doesn't now but um, at any rate he, uh, he got really good at making picks and so last year we were talking about we hadn't done picks in a long time and so we decided to do a prediction show here on Facebook Live and on YouTube at what channel? Danger Ranger. Danger Ranger? Yeah. Did you change it? I changed it. Oh, man. I forgot to tell you guys. I forgot to upload a video of the new channel name. All right. So, Ranger Danger on Danger YouTube. Ranger. Danger Ranger on YouTube. Uh, hi, Ray. I know you're at your work, so um, we'll catch you at another time. Hi, Aunt Sandra. Say hi, Aunt Sandra. Hi, Aunt Sandra. And um, so... Um, so anyway, we are out here. We're gonna. We're there are obviously no games this week, no college or pro games. So our first official live prediction show will be next week. Um, trying to figure out if we're gonna have a special guest, um, and we're gonna try to uh, get that out to you either Thursday or Friday of next week, because Saturday will be the big day. We'll be wrapped up entirely in watching College Game Day. And at 8 o'clock, none other than um, the Florida Gators travel down to Orlando and the University of Miami Hurricanes travel up to Orlando to face off the first meeting in, in a few years. Uh, the Hurricanes and the Gators will clash in Orlando. So we're pretty excited about that. Um, we will predict that game. We'll predict the Notre Dame, Notre Dame game that week. And then... Um, We'll start with our just college games the following week because that'll be the full fledged start of the season. So, what do you think about that, Bud? Yeah. 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 What other you got any comments other than yeah? <laughs> Weston t stole the show last year with all of his funniness, but um, at any rate, he is here. He is in good spirits, and yeah. we're gonna have all kinds of. Guess this year is in the famous words on the page. I'm back. Oh Lord, did you really just say that? I really just did. Wow. <laughs> so I had to. So today's theme, we were just wanted to say. Well, first of all, we want to say hi. We're here. We're here live in our studios here in Eagle Lake, Florida, also known as the spare bedroom, also known as my home office when I'm working. Um, so we wanted to. Say uh, hi to everyone first. We haven't we've we've missed doing our videos, but really we're football guys. Um, we were gonna do a, a, a WrestleMania episode, decided against that, and um, we are really just pretty happy to be back. It's football season, high school football season's in play. I think all the preseason openers are tonight, and then the regular season starts next Friday night. Go Panthers for those of us in. And that are um, Mulberry Panthers out there watching, and all your you know go whoever your teams are out there except for Bartow because can't I just can't. All right, so we we had decided to do a um, a montage of different college football entrances, um, our top five favorites. So we we peered through a few of them. And we wanted to go ahead and kind of go through our list of top college football entrances. We were going to do a um, a watch party, but I did it three times and I messed it up. So, you know, I might be a little technology challenge today. 
But uh, we're going to go ahead and, and talk about our top five college football entrances. And um, the first thing we're going to do is give an honorable mention. There, It's not an entrance, so it doesn't qualify. But um, so our first honorable mention is going to be none other than who, Weston? Do you remember? Um, Wisconsin jump around. It we it was the, it was a very honorable mention. Reason why because we 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 would put it in here, but it's it has to be an entrance. Sorry, it's got to be an entrance. And you know, as we're playing it, you know, I'm waiting for the ads on YouTube, of course. But yeah, uh, ads. But nothing goes crazier than these dang, what, 100,000 students jumping around. You go there and you're in the stadium. And these kids are just, uh, it's crazy. The stadium's rocking, like literally rocking. We're watching the video right now versus Ohio State. I think this is actually a game that Wisconsin would. Right? I think so. Yeah, I think so. So that was our honorable mention. They get honorable mention only because it's awesome, because it's not an intro. So we'll go on to, um, and then we also want to give an honorable mention to Alabama, um, only because it's Alabama, and why not, right? So number five was a was a um, one that I kind of, I don't know, I think we both kind of were like, eh, it's okay. It's more tradition and stuff. Um, so we decided, uh, to go ahead and make this number five and it's none other than the, um, entrance for the university of Michigan. So with that being said, I'm trying to play the university of Michigan and stuff, but where they come out of the, off the side, you know, go from sideline to sideline, they're by touching the, the big sign, the good big blue sign. Also, as a, a, a Mulberry Panther, I was our saying, was a good big blue. So, it kind of worked out for everyone. Um, so, yep. As I just get a text, it's funny, I get it on my smartwatch. So, but uh, Michigan would be one of them, you know, that we kind of thought was cool. Um, the next one we thought is a little controversial because as a, uh, ten, as a, um, Alabama fan, it's kind of hard to, uh, say, uh, this is cool, but it kind of really is cool if you look at it. And that's none other than the University of Tennessee and, um, the running through the T, Rocky Top. So, which is really cool. It's actually a cool thing. You don't have to love Rocky Top uh, or anything like that, but we're watching it now, and it's pretty awesome. Um, the band forms a big T, as you know, down the tunnel, and then, of course, they go to the sidelines. Just, just don't tell Mom that you oh, made me put Mom, this on list. Mom's tagged. Uh oh. <laughs> Where'd it go? I've lost it. Oh well. Maybe he'll come back. Maybe he won't. But anyway, you have to admit it's pretty cool. Um, pretty cool entrance. Uh, like I said, you don't have to love him, um, but you definitely have to respect it and that sort of thing. Oh, look, he's back. Yeah. Close our studio door there. We're on air. I think he had to go get catch a breath. Um. The uh, number three for us was really cool. So these top three, one, the top one for me is really my pick. It's not going to be Weston's pick necessarily. I don't know if he would have said no, they're number one. But that's okay. Um, but number three we thought was really cool. And it kind of kicks it old school. And it goes out to um, none other than... And you can't really hear it too well, but it's uh, it goes out to no, nothing but no one else but um, South Carolina. That's they they do the 
they play that techno song or whatever it was. Sandstorm. Sandstorm. And as you were watching the video on YouTube, it is, they are just absolutely rocking. It is crazy nut, nuts there. We want to go to a game. We want to go to the Alabama game. So anybody that wants to hook us up with tickets this year, we'll find a way to get there. You just give us the tickets. So that'd be great. Heck, I'd be willing to pay for them. If I get the right price. Um, number two that we think is, is pretty awesome will be um, you, you can't possibly um, think about college football entrances without um, thinking about this college for sure. And um, this song played in our intro. Oh, that's right. So, so um, number number two, or, or so, yeah, number two on our list, back to the ACC, has to go to none other than Virginia Tech and their Inner Sandman entrance. I'm actually getting goosebumps on my legs and on my arms right now. Pretty awesome. As you can see, and well, you can't see it on here, but this stadium is absolutely going bananas. It's crazy. And as soon as they hit a certain part of the the um, the song, it'll just go absolutely nuts. So, which is crazy. Honestly, it looks like the oven is preheating. It does look like the oven's preheating. Now it just hit bacon is fully loaded. So that's crazy, crazy awesome. Um, I will say that uh, that's probably would have been the coolest one to ever be to be at, outside of this last one, of course. Um, which is my all-time favorite. It's a, I'm a little... Okay, so I'm a lot biased, obviously. Don't even say you're a little. <laughs> I am a lot biased mm -hmm. by this one. And um, is of course, none other than the University of Miami coming through the smoke. Also, you got to give it to them. It is pretty cool. They are actually the first ones that did it, not how they started. Yeah. It, I hate to say that, but it is true. Yeah. So we are. Miami was the the bat, obviously the first one to use the smoke. Um, there was a a Orange Bowl game that Miami played against. I think it was Nebraska, um, they which destroyed they destroyed them. them. Um, but Nebraska was the Big Ten team, and Big Ten Big Ten was the home get was the home team. In the Orange Bowl, of course, Orange Bowl was the home of Miami, and um, Sebastian actually found a couple of fire extinguishers and had their own smoke, which was really cool, because um, they weren't supposed to be the quote unquote uh, home team. So that's our top five. We hope that you enjoyed those. Hey, tell us, leave us a comment here for your top five. What you think are are um, your top five college, college entrances? We understand you're probably not going to pick all five of ours. Heck, you might only pick one or two of ours, right? Yeah. But yeah. it's all subjective. It's like who's the best wrestler of all time. We all know that was probably Ric Flair. Um, but you can make comments for Hulk Hogan, Steve Austin, uh, The Rock, Heart of Race, you name it. There's they're out, they're out there. Um, but we had you know we had a good time just figuring this stuff out. And kind of, uh, you know, getting it done, right? Yeah. So next week, we're going to preview the college games that are out there for next week. We I do have the schedules for the University of Alabama and the University of Miami. As you know, that those are the two teams we watch in this house. So we will be predicting those games. On the lookout, obviously, is next Saturday, Florida versus Miami. Um at the Citrus Bowl in in Orlando, uh, too bad we're we're really close to go to that game. We can't go. 
Big games for them this year, bud. Uh, obviously, Virginia at home. Um, Georgia Tech gave them, I think they actually lost to Georgia Tech last year. Of course, Florida State on the road in Tallahassee. I'd love to go to that game. Um, you know, very winnable and very, you know, potentially a very, very good season to be had for, um, for the University of Miami. Um, the schedule looks fairly weak as it as it goes this year, so a, a run could be made to the ACC championship to face probably Clemson in the ACC championship. Not so much for Alabama. Go ahead. What'd you say? I hope Miami destroys the living crap out of it. That makes two of us. So uh, big games, notable games for Alabama this year. September fourteenth at South Carolina. That'll be a crazy one. Um. Texas A&M at, at Texas A&M and at home versus Tennessee. Of course, they are at home versus uh, LSU and at Mississippi State. And, of course, the Iron Bowl runs through Auburn this year. So, um, big games by both teams this year. We're looking forward to it. Um, we are absolutely excited about uh, – um, oh, look. Clark Moffitt wants to be added – Hey, Clark, didn't see you. I lost my feed there for a minute. Um, so we may add Clark to a live video. Clark's my 1992 alumnus from Mulberry. Mm -hmm. So we could probably do that. Um, Clark, I'll PM you later. And, you know, late, by later, I mean, like, later as in probably in a couple weeks when I'm looking for a guest. Uh, we do shows generally on Friday nights. It's kind of a became a tradition last year. We would do a Bud and Bud show, and then we would go to dinner. So yeah, it, it, it really is. He's telling you the full truth right here. That's the full truth. That's kind of our our thing. The full truth. So um, looking forward to being uh, Bud and Buds again. You know, just like last year. And what else? Do you have anything else for us, Bud? No. No? All right. Well, that being said, we will see you guys probably Thursday night or Friday night of next week. Haven't decided on the exact date yet. Do you have a outro that you want to play? I don't know. We should Honestly, we should have set the outro up. Oh, I know what we'll do. What is it? Ooh. So, um, so yeah, so we'll, we'll try to post the time when we know it, of course, and, um, you know, get it posted out here on the Bud and Bud show, and then we'll also try to tag uh, as many people as we can. I know that some of you actually enjoy it. Some of you guys probably think that we're idiots, and that's okay, too, um, but, you know, it's our fun, so... That's pretty much it. Say hi to Aunt Joe. Hi, Aunt Joe. Um, Aunt Joe from Al Mobile, Alabama is hanging out. And, um, Nothing much, Aunt Joe. How are you doing? I didn't see your comment right then. Yep, yeah, I had the list all up there. So, anyway. So, that being said, that's pretty much a wrap right here from, from the Bud and Bud Studios. So, anything else? You said you're good? Yeah, I'm good. All right. Well, we're going to wrap this thing up. So, on behalf of myself and none other than the Budster himself, Weston, we say so, so long from the Sunshine State.